Hello everyone, welcome back to another continuation video of I have built a certification questions 2020. So these questions appeared recently and I got it from my friend. So I thought I'll share the answers for this as a discussion or you know my thoughts on this. So like in the earlier video here also there is a giveaway if you you know watch this video and do subscribe and like it like and if even if you comment that will be great and send me the screenshot i'll send you this entire set of the questions uh you know uh, which appeared recently to you guys so which you can you know, easily clear your certification i don't say like 100 percent but it will be helpful 90 percent so if you prepare well for these questions okay so moving on first one which statements are true about converting lead and choose the answers so the correct answer is already below which is a b d so i'll show you why it is a let's go with a first administrator may choose whether to enforce validation rules and triggers or not so if you go to leads and lead setting you can find the lead setting under leads and you edit you can get to this will be enabled and you can see here require validation for the converted leads so this setting is available for administration to administrator to check or uncheck and that's why the first one is correct and the second one is the system automatically maps standard lead fields to the standard lead fields to standard account contact and opportunity fields so this is true because if you go to lead conversion field mapping how you go is you know you go to let me show you lead this is a little tricky if you go to fields and once you go to field under custom mapping under the custom fields and relationship you go to map fields so you can see here so you don't have the control over the standard fields that you can map all that is available in the standard fields you can map it to account contact and opportunity so this one is correct and third one is wrong i'll not go deep in the wrong answers let me just clarify the right ones the leads most recent campaign account is automatically applied to the primary campaign source field and the opportunity and yes of course logically true uh, because if the lead is generated from the most recent campaign that will be marked as a primary campaign source uh, uh, from on the opportunity field so that's logically correct so that's why uh, I think ABD is the right answer moving on you have which two are the capability of the record types I think this is one of the simplest question um, which I have I, which I have, which is which appeared many times and I think many of you might have already know this this is displaying the page layout and the filtering the pick list value let me also show you in case if anyone needs it so if I, I came to the trailblazer of the record type and here you can see the record types let you offer different business processes pick list values and the page layouts to different users so that's the main use of you know record types Unicell container has deployed the custom types of the chain set without including the profile to the production which statement is true in this record so the correct answer is B because custom types are hidden for all the users because when you're pushing the tab to the chain set you have an option to include the profile if you don't include it will go to the production but it will not be visible to any users because it's not associated to any profile so if you want to see let me show you in chain set like uh, Oh, sorry. Uh, I don't think it is available here because I'm in sandbox. Oh, yeah, I don't think it's available. This is the developer org, so you cannot push anything from here. I, I think so. I don't think you have that option. Otherwise, I would have shown you get option after adding the components. You get to add the profiles as well. If you don't add, it will just go and set in the production without any. You know, it will be hidden for all the users. So next question, when configuring record type and have builder can configure available value of the pick list field for a page layout, which opportunity standard field is available to be configured directly in the opportunity record type. So the 
correct answers has b lead type and the lead source because these two are the standard fields let me show you i just created a, um where is that i just created a record type just now i created and you can see the lead type lead source and type are already available i didn't add them there is no option to add it so when you create a record type and you go to the record type you can see the pick list available for editing these are the three standard pick list field which are available by default so that's what the question here so the answer is type and the lead source are directly available so there is one more option which is not available delivery installation which anyway don't have to worry it's not here okay so moving on so the training team at the universal container use training object to track the customer training session an app builder needs to create a relationship between the training object and related student so which of these statements is true i don't think that's appearing here okay anyway so let's see the correct answer correct answer is a and c so to explain you the cross object field update between training students are not supported yes of course the cross object field update between training student training and the student are not supported which is true and that on training record student lookup field can be made optional yes this can be made optional we have control over that and if you look at the wrong answers like the under training record users can delete student record if they have access to it so how is it possible i don't think this is true and d on student record users can set up role of summary which is also not true because it's a lookup relationship so the correct answer is a and c an app builder wants to show the groups as the last navigation a menu item in the salesforce on mobile app however the app builder is not able to select the group as one of the item in the drop down menu what could cause this so the correct answer is b groups are not included in the selected list of the navigation menu so if this is this is the reason that that's why you will not be able to even order it to show it as a you know last navigation menu item so let me show you where you can find this so this is the lightning version if you go to the you know say quick setup in the quick find box go to the navigation search navigation it's a little bit slow bear with me for a moment okay navigation so mobile app salesforce salesforce navigation if you come here you can see which are all selected people reports and smart so you can only organize this one group is not selected it's here just add the group and save it you should be able to see it uh, you know in that navigation menu of the app okay and moving on what is true statement in regards to creating the custom report type so the custom report type the main thing is when primary object is a custom object and is deleted then the report type and reports created from must be deleted okay let's directly go to the correct answer c so the once the report type is saved is with a standard or a custom primary object this is the main important once you create a record a report type with primary object it cannot be changed for the report type so i'll show you maybe here go to the trailhead i just search the custom report type and if you come here you can see um, once you save the report type you cannot change the primary object so straightforward so moving on so moving on to the next question universal container uses the custom object called the candidate to track information about the people who are recruited to jobs within the company when an employee refers a recruiting candidate that employee should have access to the candidate record however only hr user should be able to view edit and report on the salary field so okay, how do you restrict access to the salary field to the candidate and only hr user should have so obviously if you are you know hr user employees they will have a different profile so the correct answer if i have to straight away go is d so restricting access to the salary field for the general employee using the field level security so that is the right answer and it says sharing settings but remember always one point like any sharing setting or permission set those are all used to extend the access means to give more access not to restrict any access so yeah that is one thing and 
the correct answer is D let me show you how you can uh, do the suppose I'm in the account and I go to maybe any custom field say I'll take some text field SLA serial number or something if you go to set the field level security you have all sorts of the profile in that case you will have employee as well as HR profile so just uncheck for the employee profile and keep it checked for the HR profile so that way you'll be able to you now control the access to the salary field okay moving on what is the recommended solution to configure the automated behavior UC has a requirement that an opportunity should have a field showing the value of its value of its associated billing state this value should not change after the opportunity has been created and how we can achieve this workflow role of summary formula field x apex I think it's a formula field because why I say is when you create an opportunity uh, you can have a formula field on the opportunity referring to the billing state of the account so that way anyway you know by default formula field will not be editable so even after creating you don't give any room to edit it because it's a formula field it's being referred from the account so let me show you how okay I'm in the opportunity here let me create a new field select formula field and go to this one say I will say billing state and our return type would be say text and it could takes me to formula editor and then let me say you have a refer account billing state and this is already there so I don't think I'll get any error so no syntax error found yes that's it so this is the formula field which will refer account billing state and it will be read only in the next C you can see read only is by default checked you cannot uncheck it since it's a formula field it will be read only so it means you cannot change it after creating the opportunity record so that's what the formula field does and the correct answer is C so moving on that's all for this video uh, I'll come up with a new video as I said in the beginning like you know if you do subscribe and uh, Click the bell notification and if possible do the like and the comment and send me the screenshot i'll send you the dumps uh, for this tutorial if you like these videos do follow and we'll see you in the next video bye bye